Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Planet Coaster. Uh, the first two episodes, we designed this entry plaza way with its food court and uh, hamburger picnic tables. And we added a few rides um, over here, the kiddies section. Um, unfortunately, in this game, there's only like two kitty rides. Well, technically there's three, uh, but the third one is is pirate themed. So I'd like to keep that in maybe a pirate themed area somewhere over there. I don't know where. Um, so that means we've got all this empty space right here. And I thought maybe what I'd build is a uh, like a kitty version of the roller coaster. Um, most theme parks have some kind of really simple, easy roller coaster. It doesn't loop. It doesn't have many big drops or something. So we're going to put that in real quick. Um, and see how it looks. Now before I get too uh, far, I want to say that I'm now recording in 1080p, but I need your guys' input. Um, I know that my frame rate's going to be a little bit lower because of that. So please, in the comments below, um, let me know if you like the higher resolution with lower frame rate, or if you want me to go back to 720 with the higher frame rate. Alright, let's get started. We need to unlock coasters, so we will search for under construction. To unlock the coasters. There we go. And we'll just make the red one. We need to turn off angle lock and go ahead and rotate it a little bit. Nope, too much, too much. There we go. Maybe like that. And I'm going to build up uh, a building around it um, so that it looks more, it looks better than that. Um, but sure, let's just go ahead and start going straight up in a nice gentle pattern here. Uh, maybe turn down. We'll build that. Maybe. No. Why not? See, it's always a problem. It's not turning like red or anything, so you can't tell what the heck is wrong with it. That one worked. Okay, whatever. Turn up maybe a little bit more. It'd be nice if it showed you the actual angles, too. Somewhere maybe like right down here. It had a little thing that said... 45 degrees or something that, that we're at. And maybe up a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. Now we need to go ahead and curve it over. So we'll shorten it down and start curving it. And we're going to need to set these to be chain tracks. So we're going to put chains on them. Perfect. And then off the end here, should we give him like a little bit of uh, suspense? You know, it doesn't drop immediately, maybe. Maybe it just kind of slows down, slowly drops. Sure. And then we can turn chains off because now we're going downhill. Um, we're kind of at a, a hill here, so we can't get much of a drop off unless we go that way. But I'd like to go up that way. Maybe what we'll do is we'll have two two little hills. So... We'll go ahead and spin it this way on a very little decline. And then we'll go ahead and from here start going back up. How's that? Okay, from there. <laughs> it has some interesting snapping, but that's fine. Okay, we don't want to go too high. Kids will get a little, a little scared if we do that, so I think that's good. Go ahead and uh, start bringing it down again. Can I turn that off? No, I probably need to keep... Oh, nope, not brakes. <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay. So now we will turn... We'll go ahead and do a little bit of twisting action here and have our first drop. Okay, now how do I want to plan this thing to go? I think if we have something that maybe goes down and then up, spins around and then goes back through itself, that might look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and rotate this in further. And then we'll go ahead and straighten that out. And I'm gonna increase the length, that keeps it a little bit smoother. And if you do get some sections like this that are not very smooth, you can always select them and hit this little double arrow and hit smooth. And I'll, I'll probably come back and do that after the ride's complete, but 
it does kind of even out some of the sections where you've kind of I don't know where it's not very good. <laughs> All right, so build that, and then we're going to go back up and shorten that down. And then that'll be the crest. Let's see how we're doing for space here. Hmm. I wanted to come back in here, but we might not have room. <laughs> Because I don't want to interfere with building something here. So maybe we will need to... Oops, camera. Be, be cooperate, camera. Um, if we came this way and went around here and then around like that or something. Yeah, let's try that. So build one more like that. Tip it this way. I can't go back up the hill. i got to be careful of that. So that and like that I don't want you to go up please please don't go up that's better all right is that Aiming right for there, perfect. Maybe we maybe we can actually make this turn a little bit bigger. <laughs> I think that's going to be a little, a little bit tight. Probably get some G forces going. So we'll just increase the length, and we should. Nope. It always wants to come back away from the ground. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's lining up really nice. Okay. And then we'll straighten a little bit more coming out of that turn so we don't run into the track. Nobody's going to hit their head there, right? Um, yeah, it's going to be close, but I think we're good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's start evening it out here. And now we're going to make one big turn back to the entrance. So increase that. And we'll go ahead. Nope, too big. Oh no, I want I always forget it's it's affecting like the next one, not the current one. Okay, so roll this back over. Perfect. And then we'll lengthen it up. And then we should probably be able to straighten it out and maybe do one more hump here before we hit the the tower again. Nope, I said straight, please, and don't... Well, yeah, you can go back up. That's fine. Okay, too high. Come back down. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, are we kind of aimed at the station? Now there's this auto-complete button, but it's not enabled yet, so it looks like they haven't finished that feature. But you can eventually just kind of, if you're close enough, just kind of hover over the, the other node and it should attach it. So we can go and build it. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of smoothing. So I'm just going to go ahead and look for areas that, that kind of have some um, stuff like this right here. We'll need to smooth that out. And if not, then we can probably just... Move it in. The problem is you're affecting individual nodes, like not the whole track, so you kind of... It's pretty difficult to smooth it out manually. That's unfortunate. Uh, maybe we'll just rotate this a little bit. That might... Yeah, that gives it a better feel. Okay, and then maybe right in here we need some smoothing. Yeah, if you stick to long tracks, it's much easier to smooth, because the segments are... They're better. All right, and smooth you a little bit. And sometimes if you smooth one section, then you can come back to the other and smooth it, and then come back and smooth it, and eventually you get something that's nice, has some nice curves. Okay, that, that turn looks okay. And then the last little turn, this one looks pretty decent because I, I used long, uh, long tracks. So we might want to rotate this guy ever so slightly. In like that, like 
that. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and give it a test. So to do that, we go ahead and exit build mode by hitting escape and click on the roller coaster track. Hit a debug. We need to add a train. Um, I'm gonna get, keep it pretty long, that'll keep it slower. Let's go with the equalizer, I think. Um, no, I want something better than that, so remove it, add a, oops. <laughs> Let's try the gasm. No, that's way too adult. Yeah, I'll try the werewolf. Nope. All right, so it looks like we're going with the gasm. Maybe, oh, you can have an eight train. Holy crap. <laughs> that is long. Uh, too much. I don't think, I think coasters still add only 200 people to your park, not based on the length, but I'm not sure. We'll have to give that a test. I'll uh, add a bunch of cars and open it, see how many people we get, and I'll add a, just a few cars and open it. But let's stick with four right now, I think. That's not four. Anybody else seeing that? <laughs> One, two, three and a half. Huh, interesting bug, okay. What if we set, put it down to three, do we get two? Okay, the Phantom Car, all right. So it looks like if we want four, we have to go with five. Sounds good. And no way to paint it or do anything with the actual color of the track yet. That will come eventually. Um, but let's go ahead and start this thing and see how she does. Oh, we didn't put any brakes here. We probably should have done that, but oh well. <laughs> we'll add that later. Go up the first little hill. Nice little slow turn into the second hill. Perfect. Love it. We'll ride it later, too, as well. We just want to make sure it never goes too fast or has too much g-force, that kind of thing. This is a kitty ride. Perfect. I love that little turn. That might be a little close <laughs> to people's heads here. And it's going to come down there and up and down and brakes. Oh, we don't even need brakes. It's, it's got its built-in brakes here. Cool. All right. That looks great. So let's go ahead and um, I think we need to go to edit track. No, we don't need to do that. We just need to click. Get out of here. Click on place entrance. All right, we will put the entrance right, yeah, let's put it right here. Exit will come off the back, maybe? Can I do that? No. Okay, well, that's gonna make things a little bit difficult to reach back to the path here. Um, we could, we could put it, uh, well, I like how there's nothing to, <laughs> to go here. If I build like a building, can I affect it? Let's try that. So if I get out of here, click on this, click it, uh, debug, edit. no, not edit track, dang it. Click on debug, buildings. So now it's giving me the grid that lines up nicely. Um, if I put a floor, there is no floor, okay. Wow, it's like way down in the ground here. Yeah, um, let's just do a test. Let's put one there. No, I can't. Okay, I can. And then let's go back to here. Out of building mode. Come on. No, I can't. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Get rid of me. Go away. <laughs> I like... Had hit this escape like 10 times. All right, so, well, we're just going to have to have the exit over here. That's fine. Actually, I should have built the building so I could see where that lined up on the grid. We can always move it. Um, so add Q to entrance. Go ahead and put that there. And then just start bringing it down to the ground. And coming around like this. Oh, could people walk under there? Oh, that might be a good idea for the exit. Yeah, let's do that. And a ticket booth. Rotate it a little bit. Perfect. All right, right there. And we need some pathing now. 
We'll stay on our dark path. And I want... Somebody said if I hit control, it won't snap. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. So if you let it go, it snaps. If you hit control and hold it down, it does not snap. So you can actually build really close to other uh, things. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I actually want to then start building from here. And build straight. Nope. Come on. Like that. And then from here. Support. Okay, the support went away. That's good. And then drop it down. There we go. Okay, and the supports are gone. I'm not... don't have any supports for the people to walk through. Just need to connect this now. Awesome. All right, I think we're good to open. So let's open this guy. Track incomplete. That's weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just needed to add the train. Okay. And let's watch our people. So we were at 600. And let's see, do we go up at all? I think that's going to be a problem. Um, because the coaster builder was not supposed to be enabled really in this alpha. Sorry, I had to get a drink. Um, the coaster itself does not add any people to your park. So if you add too many coasters, you will, your park will become very spread out. There won't be a lot of people. I think that will change in a future, future version, but we don't need to worry about it. Okay, what does this coaster need? It needs a sign. So let's go into buildings, wall signs. And we've got all the generic signs here that we can make whatever we want. Pirate Village, we've got one that just says Coaster. Oh my goodness, that is huge. <laughs> um, got generic blue. I wish you could type on this. Can you type on this? Can I make it change something? Make it say something, I mean? I wish it, wish it could say something, but I guess you can't. All right. Um... Maybe that's coming in the future. Bienvenue. Yeah, without being able to like type on these, it's... Why is everything in Spanish? Did I do something? Or <laughs> in French, I mean. Coming soon. It's coaster time. Why are these signs so huge? Um, maybe this is the star ride. Yeah, there we go. This will just be the star ride. <laughs> Since we can't put... Are we shooting star? Too big. Star is a perfect size for the entrance. Done. Alright, I'm not going to think about it anymore. Here we go, our first riders. Let's get in there. Come on, rider cam, let me in there. Let me in there. No, I don't want... There we go. I guess we're riding it from a person. That's fine. Put your hands up. Woohoo! Here we go. Oh, we can't even see. It can... <laughs> Whee! And then down. Whoa, that was a little bit of a hill. Had some G-force there. That's okay. Nice little easy rollout turn here. Bank to the right, and we're done. Woo! <laughs> All right. I think that qualifies as a nice kitty roller coaster. It doesn't have a lot of G. And nothing really too scary. Perfect. Okay. Let's try and uh, build a building around this. Uh, at least start it before we run out of time here. So click on again this guy. Click on debug. I think we have to close it to edit the building. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. And we want to put some walls around it. Um, let's do a kind of a fun pattern here. So I need auto stacking on so I can maybe... Why am I editing building four and there's no grid anymore? It's not what I want. There we go. Okay. I don't know what was happening there. Wait a minute. It w <laughs> the grid was on until I select something. What the heck? Let's see that one more time. So, buildings. There's our grid, which is great. And then I select a wall, and now it's gone. There's no more grid. 
Why, oh why? Okay, I guess, I guess it worked. So, let's go white and, oops. It's easy to not or make these line up very well. Okay, and then we'll alternate with blue. And we can sync this guy in. Okie dokie. I don't know what I'm going for, <laughs> actually. And of course I put these blue ones in the wrong place. I just have to build it and come back and show you guys what I come up with because I'm just kind of building whatever right now. Um, but there are pieces where you could put like uh, this white one here. Oh, the intercepts with the tracks, I can't do that, okay. Um, I could build the half one, or maybe this guy. Yeah, there we go. So you can kind of build it with that little cutout so it can fit in there. And then I can put this one, maybe half one down there. And then, do I need, I probably need the little uh, archway maybe? that one there we go okay there we go we got a bit of building and oh I think I did this wrong <laughs> I did crap that's that should be white here um fine whatever so blue there white here okay something like that maybe we'll extend these down here too into the ground so you can't really see the building and we'll put something nifty on top. Uh, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Come back next time and I'll show you whatever building I came up with here for the kitty ride. And uh, yeah, hit that like button if you want to see more Planet Coaster. Don't forget to uh, rate below on how you think the 1080p episode went. Just let me know if you think it was better or worse as far as quality than the previous two episodes. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.